Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about scroll views in Flutter. So there are certain functionalities which we can implement based on scroll views to make the app more interactive for the users. And I have just few set of examples for that and you can see here I have a simple demo app which renders a list of 50 items. And if you notice that as I scroll down you can able to see that button stating back to top. So I just click on that button it takes you back to the very top that is the zeroth index so this is one of the most important feature which we can implement based on the uh, scroll views and if I just keep scrolling to the very bottom say for example now I have reached the end of the list view builder that is the index 49 and if I just keep proceed scrolling then you will be able to get a message stating that uh, you have reached the end of the list item okay Okay, so these are the two most prominent features which we can implement using scroll views and with only few set of lines we will be able to use these two features in our Flutter app. So first you use seatbelts and let's get started with the coding part right now. Well starting with the main.dat file we have navigation to my home page and say this my home page uh, we have a stateful widget class and uh, a empty stateful widget class and uh, no widgets I have just defined a simple container with the child stack inside the stack is what we will be just wrapping all the three set of widgets that is the list view builder and the back to top button as well as the all caught up message so those three widgets goes inside this stack widget okay so and before that we just need to define few variables and just to keep track of the scroll views so first is the scroll view this is another scroll controller what we can say and let me define that scroll controller first okay so I have just defined a scroll controller and uh, as said before we need to have two boolean variables one is for back to top initially let me assign it as false and another boolean variable uh, which is is last index okay so these are the set of variables which we will be defining and we also need to define uh, or initialize these variables at the scroll controller inside the init state and uh, inside this init state let me just make use of this add listener method okay so scroll controller dot we need to make use of add listener method and say this method is what we will be just writing down the logic uh, of rendering whether to render the back, back to top button or whether to render the all caught up message okay so this scroll view add listener method will be invoked based on each guest or what the user that is it will be invoked for each scroll okay so you can just remember like that as a thumb rule and inside this scroll controller we just need to create a set state that is we need to update the states so we, let's just create a set state and inside that we need to check for whether we need to uh, just show the back to top button or not for that we will be just setting the or we will be making use of the scroll controller and the method is offset I will be setting it as 400 okay so uh, if, if this the scroll goes beyond 400 then I will be just enabling the back to drop as true or else let me set it as false okay similarly whether to show the uh, all caught up message for that the condition is like uh, we need to make use of again the scroll controller and check for the offset and if it is greater than maximum scroll extent which is position dot max scroll extent that is if it is the end of the scroll then we need to set it as true or else just give it as false okay so we have just defined the methods or we have just wrote the conditions whether to show the uh, top back to top button or whether to show the last that is all caught message or not okay and we have just defined that inside the init state and the uh, that's it now we we'll let just and before that I have also defined all the list of uh, widgets or the components uh, Predefined I have just defined all the widgets separately inside the widgets.dat file and 
as a quick summary this is the list view builder so this widget method is responsible for building up all the list view builders starting with 0 to 49 a set of uh, item count i have given as 50 and uh, which takes the control as the scroll control so the scroll control will be passing as the parameter in the uh, from this class okay from this class you will be passing this uh, scroll control as the parameter and it takes this control as the scroll controller and based on the scroll it just updates the states okay and again based on the back to top boolean variable will be just uh, having a ternary condition whether to render that back to top button or render a simple sized box and similarly for the same all quarter message whether to render that message or not okay so based on this is last index boolean variable okay so let's just wrap these all widgets together and say this stack widget okay first let me just create the list view builder and pass in the scroll control as the parameter okay so the list view builder would be at the first layer okay and above that list view builder i'll be having the back to top button and the function is build back to top and takes the scroll controller parameter as well as back to top boolean variable and above this uh, so the first layer is list view second is the button and the third layer that is the topmost layer is the text okay which is build text and it takes just the boolean variable alone with this we will be able to see the three widgets just lined up all together well yeah if i just scroll down you can see that back to top button and if i just click on that it takes you back to the zeroth index so the logic is written inside this back to top button and the logic is very simple so you need to make use of the scroll controller passed as the parameter and you need to make use of the function which is animate to okay so you could see here this animate to takes the offset which is in our case the index you can say so i will be navigating to the zeroth index and the duration for uh, switching back to the index what you are currently to the zeroth index i will be providing this duration seconds as one and you can just provide the curve which is i have this provided as linear okay you can give anything you want if i just say for example if i give that as five seconds and if i just scroll to the very bottom and if i just want to go back it takes actually five seconds for this scroll controller to reach the zeroth index so if you want it to be quick you can just give it as one second which will be uh, somewhat uh, acceptable okay so this is a simple logic which you need to write in say this back to top button okay so um, that's very simple one and similarly and similarly if i just scroll to the very bottom you can see that after reaching the bottom and if i just keep scrolling you will be able to get this message all cut up hence everything is working fine right now okay so that's it guys it's very simple and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye